All right then, gang, so we've seen now how to add new data to the database table and also how to retrieve data from the table as well, either all of the records or just a single record. In this video, we're gonna see how to delete a record from the table. And for that, we're gonna to have to set up a delete route handler. So just back to this convention chart right here, I've added this other line at the bottom. So the request type is a delete one and the route that we're gonna handle this on is forward slash pizzas, forward slash the ID of the record that we want to delete. So this is exactly the same as this route up here where we show a single record, but this time it's a delete request, not a get request, so we can handle these two things differently. So it doesn't matter that they are the same route. Now, convention says that we call this action on the pizza controller destroy, and we don't need a view because again, once we've deleted a record, we can just redirect the user back to another page. So let's see how we can do this in our project. Okay then, so what I'd like to do is on the show details page, where it's forward slash pizzas, forward slash the ID of a pizza, I'd like to have a little button at the bottom where if we click that, it then deletes that pizza from the database table and then redirects us to the pizza listing page. So to do that, we need to head on over to our show template, which is what this is. And at the bottom, we're just gonna do a little form so we can do a button. So form, and the action is gonna be forward slash pizzas, and then forward slash, remember, the ID of the pizza that we want to delete. Now we have access to the ID because we have the pizza object that we get back from the database. And on that pizza object is the ID property. So we can output that using double curly braces like so. We can do this, that's fine. And inside we say pizza, and then we want the ID property. So that would be one, two, three, four, etc. So that is the action. And we also need a method attribute as well. We're gonna come back to this in a second. Now inside the form, first I'm gonna use that directive CSRF, which stands for cross site request forgery. And then underneath that, oops, don't want that. Underneath this, I want to do a button. And that button is just gonna say complete order, like so. So we wanna press this button, it then fires a request to this endpoint, which we can then handle. Now, what about the method right here? We said that it should be a delete method, but browsers don't always understand delete methods when we use them with forms, so we can't do this. Instead, we kind of have to fake it. So we put post in here, and then underneath, we can use a directive from Blade to say at method, and then in here, we'll say delete. So we're saying here, actually, we want this to be a delete request. Even though we say it's post here, we're gonna override that now and say, actually, this will be a delete request. So when it comes into Laravel on the back end, it's gonna look for a delete request handler. So let us now set that up. We need to find our routes file, the web one right here. And I'm gonna do the delete one right at the bottom. So route, oops route and then delete and then inside we need to say forward slash pizzas forward slash some id the pizza that we want to delete and then we're going to pass this off to a controller and that is the pizza controller and the action that we want to use on this controller will be called destroy all right so that's that set up finally we have to go to our controller where we take in the ID and then we can query the database to delete that record. So inside the pizza controller, let's come to the bottom and let's create a new public function. So public function called destroy. And in here we take in the ID automatically because we pass it right here and we get it right here. So we're passing it through into this function and inside the function now, we want to, first of all, find that particular record in the database. So I'm gonna create a new variable called pizza and set it equal to pizza, the model, then use a method, find or fail. Remember, this tries to find a record based on an ID. If it can't find it, then it's gonna 404, and we pass in the ID as an argument. So we're finding that record first of all, and we're storing it here. Then we want to delete it, so I'm gonna say pizza, and then use the method 
delete to do so. And that deletes it now from the database. Now, after that, we want to do something. We want to then return a redirect. So we go to a different page. So return redirect. And we want to redirect to the pizza listing, which is just forward slash pizzas. That's the list of all the different pizzas. So let's see if this all works. I'm going to go back to the pizza list first of all, so we can see there's two there. And now if I go to one with the ID of one, we can see this button at the bottom. And this is the order for Sean. So if I complete the order now, it should delete it from the database and redirect me here, which it does. And we can see it's no longer showing on this page. So this has all worked.